Conservation Accounting. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 523. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our April 2nd, 2023 edition of our Week of Progress Update. And today's topic that I'd like to discuss is conservation accounting, specifically developing conservation accounting and why it's important. And right now, I know you might be thinking, like, what the heck is conservation accounting? Well, let's talk about it. You know, conservation accounting is accounting for our activities. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is our idea of how we can do this on a grand scale in all aspects of our lives. And so when you think about conservation accounting, you think about the world in the way that it is right now, um, I think most people would agree that we are lacking accountability for our actions as a species. And you can break that down into different corporations and different groups that are more or less interested in, in what's necessary to be sustainable and to maintain our planet. But the reality of it is, is as a whole, as a species, we've got a long ways to go. And so as you know, one community is really focused on like positive approaches rather than uh, fighting against the system that we see is broken. Instead, it's like create a new system that's better than the old system and make that old system obsolete because people will naturally gravitate to the better system, you know? And so with conservation accounting, you know, the idea is looking at all aspects of the human experience and saying, how can we take account of those aspects and how can we make them sustainable? You know, and one community has broken this down into the physical foundations of sustainability and the emotional foundations of sustainability. Physical foundations being the ones that everybody's aware of, it's food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations of sustainability being the less discussed, but we talk about them all the time as what we call high good approaches to fulfill living, high good approaches to education, economics, and truer stewardship, stewarding all of this together. And from a conservation accounting perspective, the idea is to look at all of them and say, okay, how are they interrelated? How are they interdependent? And then how can we account for, how can we do accounting on each one of these different categories such that we can make them radically sustainable and providing more positive than negative uh, in our lives and in the world? You know, because right now we are facing significant challenges as a species, you know, and there's lots of information out there, so I don't need to go into the details of it, <clears throat> but if you're paying attention, you're aware of what's going on. So why hasn't this problem already been fixed? Well, the reality of it is, is we've been putting band-aids on a systemic problem. You know, it's a systemic problem and we've been putting little band-aids on this systemic problem, trying to fix the little individual issues instead of looking at the big picture. You know, and this is all while we have the ability, like we already have the technology and the ability to uh, build, to, to to grow food without any pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides, you know, to produce 100% of our energy sustainably, to build housing that is built without toxic uh, materials and is artistic and beautiful and DIY replicable, to create fulfilled living environments that fully meet the needs of the human being and, and create an environment that's constantly based on, that's a culture of growth and development and enrichment, you know, to build open source education models that rather than focusing on just teaching stuff, teaching learners how to be great learners, you know, to create free thinkers, you know, for-profit, non-profit, and resource-based economy, economic models, and of course, steward all, stewarding all this. So from our perspective, developing conservation accounting is kind of an obvious necessary outcome or obvious necessary goal if our intent 
is to, to live in integrity in every day and in every action, everything that we take is to really do this conservation accounting saying like, well, how do we live and conserve the resources that we have so that we can maximize the human experience in a positive way, you know? And so <clears throat> that's a great question. Why haven't we already done this? Well, from our perspective, we think it's because the internet revolution hasn't ha hadn't happened yet. You know, it is being done. This idea of conservation accounting has already been done in sustainable communities around the world, in small examples around the world. And if you go back far enough in time, you know, it was the way of life. We didn't have a resource scarcity and we were stewarding the planet in such a way that we would maintain it. We were already thinking that way. But things changed. From then until now, something changed. Maybe it was capitalism, competition, whatever it is. And we lost that collaborative and that cooperative perspective on the world. And so conservation accounting is about getting back to that. You know? And so now, through the internet revolution, we have the ability to embrace conservation accounting and develop conservation accounting models that apply to all these other areas, the food, the energy, the housing, education, economics, all these areas, the fulfilled living models, all of it, social architecture, every aspect of this, and to create a sustainable civilization that will benefit us, our children, our grandchildren, and generations to come, you know? And so this is an idea that's time has come and an idea that at one point, I, at one point wasn't really even necessary, but was, was, was a, an unspoken rule. Like you don't take more than you need, you know? And so there was enough to go around, but there were a lot less people. Now that the population has blown up and exploded to what it is now, this idea of conservation accounting has become extremely important, you know? And so our organization has grown to become the number one global sustainability systems company in the world, creating open store solutions for the food, the energy, the housing, fulfilled living, education, economics, the stewardship, all of these things and putting them together in one place so that we can build one community as an example of what's actually possible with conservation accounting when we address all of these areas simultaneously and what that gives back to the world. And by open sourcing and free sharing all this, our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate it as attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And this is why we talk about self-replicating systems, creating teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. So it's not just about conservation accounting, it's about creating conservation accounting models that as part of their conservation accounting, account for the idea that more of these models are needed and teach people how to do that as well. So open sourcing the entire process. And so, yeah, this is what we're up to. We're an all volunteer organization. We have over 700 volunteers contribute to our project so far. Um, we are creating seven different sustainable eco village open source models, as well as the, the food and the energy and the education and social architecture. All these things are being open source and free shared because we want to live this way. And because we see a sustainable world that works for everybody within our lifetime, if we can address, if we can, if we can solidly create a system for conservation accounting that is better than the system we have right now, teach it to people and, and make it so easy, affordable, and attractive that it will spread on its own. This is what one community is doing. And we're creating, you know, DIY, easy to replicate, easy to follow instructions for all these different areas so that people will be able to replicate them around the world. And so we can work as part of a global cooperative and a global collaborative to do this uh, for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. And of course, for ourselves, our children, our grandchildren, you know, generations to come. So this is what we're up to. If you like what it is that we're doing, of course, the best thing, easiest thing that you can do uh, to support us is like and subscribe, ring that bell, get a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox. If you like an email, weekly dose of positivity, subscribe to our newsletter, which you can do through our website. Of course, if you wanna see what all of our 100% volunteer team has accomplished at what each member of our team has accomplished within the last week, you can visit our weekly progress update blog. And if you'd like to see all of the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-yourself instructions that we've been creating over the last decade and, uh, and developing as part of our foundations for conservation accounting, of course, visit our website. And if you'd like to get involved, this is our helping page. There's lots of ways for everybody, anybody to get involved in some way. And so this is it. This is what we're up to. This is like a piece, a small piece of our project, which is conservation accounting and how we see that as part of the solution to world change and world that works for everybody.
So with that said, stick around for another couple of minutes if you'd like to see bullet points on our entire project and the major components of our project. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.